What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more U2, and we're going straight back to the Unforgettable Fire album, which is from 1984, not 85. Indeed, I apologize, and I will try to remember to put a uh, pinned comment uh, below the reaction to 4th of July, because sometimes what happens, and this is entirely on me, but sometimes I'll make a key mistake when describing the context of a tune, the year of an album, something like that, and then most people will end up focusing their comment around that, which I appreciate, you know, again, I want to have correct perspective and information about things, so I do appreciate that, but sometimes I feel like I end up getting fewer comments about the actual tune that I've reacted to because of that mistake, which again, that's on me, but um, yeah, so I did want to mention uh, the album Unforgettable Fire is 84, not 85. In any case, this next tune is bad. It's a single word title, it's a straightforward idea. The idea of something being bad is, in almost all contexts, historically referencing something which is not good, something which is harmful or destructive or unpleasant or evil, what have you. Um, now, obviously, in modern times, including in the 80s, notably uh, the album of another prominent artist from the 80s, um, bad can be used to mean good, meaning it can be used to indicate something that is cool, hip, or otherwise um, having it in ways that are, um, you know, on the cutting edge, if you will. So my expectation is this would relate more to the traditional usage of the word, though fair to say, again, it's a single word title, so even knowing the concept, it's difficult to get on a read or to get a read on what might be happening. I will say, having known the last tune to be an instrumental, uh, and again, apologies for spending a couple minutes talking about the irrelevant, or at least directly um, non-relevant uh, American Revolution and War of Independence, but I wouldn't expect there to be two instrumental tunes in a row. So in that regard, you know, I feel like we will get an answer as to what bad means here, but I wonder, um, and again, maybe it could play off multiple renderings, um, whether we're talking about the cool or hip version or just bad as it relates to one person could be good or beneficial to someone else. And, you know, obviously that speaks to the way that humans um, can unfortunately interact to each other or interact with each other over the course of history and into the present. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's listen to the song. This is U2. The track is bad, and it's from the 1984 album, The Unforgettable Fire. <laughs> Like the rap's This look 
say like you know in football and other forms of sports people talk about you know um <clears throat> considering it an admirable thing when an athlete leaves it all out on the field like you know it's not even if they didn't win even if they maybe didn't have their best game ever they you know they gave it their all they you know went into every challenge they went into every play like you know not um you know sort of lollygagging or half-assing it uh i feel like Bono like sings his heart out like every one of these tunes it's crazy like and imagine touring and hitting these heights vocally every other night or whatever it's insane I can't imagine it um, and this one the like wide awake line like he's already hitting some big vocal moments I'm already like oh man like you know he's really his vocals by this point are crazy and then he comes in with that like astounding stunned like my brain ceased to work for a second uh, and to hit that line in that way, I think, is a really powerful thing. So even without figuring out what is all going on, um, there were some powerful moments, like lyrically um, and vocally, of course, as well. <clears throat> so yeah, there, like he talks about like seeing desolation and so on, and it makes me wonder, you know, following a tune Fourth of July, and knowing that he's talked about, you know, Martin Luther King and the civil rights struggle and so on. It made me wonder if, like, you know, he was in New York and he saw, you know, um, people living hard outside, you know, homeless. And, like, it made me wonder if that's the kind of desolation that he's talking about or if he's talking about the aftermath of some military conflict, which, you know, if you're a general, like, you know, marking, like, points to attack on a map, it's one thing. But then when you see, like, you know, the aftermath of bombing or something, it's, you know, it's something else entirely. And certainly both of those concepts would be bad if you know we care about you know the way humans get along and are treated by others and so on um so yeah i feel like there could be relevance in that um context whether or not we're talking about their actual like personal experience though oftentimes you know those experiences do uh, provide the main substance of songwriting it seems to me uh, but sonically, just an incredible tune, because it's like, you know, I'm focusing on Bono, and then it's like, oh man, the guitar playing, both the, like, wispy elements, and the, like, that rapid fire rhythm that was going the whole time, and then, you know, the bass beneath it, and then as it went along, it was like the drums, whether it's like dancing on the cymbal, or like, 
all these crazy roll patterns like at the measure breaks it's just crazy so um yeah another tune where it feels like they're all bringing their a game and it's amazing to me like um and i wonder you know knowing that they were big in the the u.s in the 90s certainly because i remember that even if i wasn't really a part of it per se i do wonder at this point in the u.s had you know have they broken through is because i feel like you know people have said to me that oh you know like big country um, they didn't really break through the U.S. market as much as they would have hoped or as much as, you know, their label would have thought, um, perhaps outside of their, you know, title track, if you will. Um, but some people have said that the reason they think that's the case is because groups from the U.K. in the 80s, if they were going to be marketed in the U.S., it's like, oh, well, they kind of have to have a synth sound, you know? It's like whether it's Depeche Mode or Duran, like groups that had made it over here on some level had a keyboardist and had, like, you know, like a heavier electronic sound. And so that makes sense to me, but it makes me wonder, like you too, again, um, there's been some moments I think where we've heard like instruments or like sonics that are not just, you know, from a guitar, a bass, a drum, or Bono singing. Um, but generally speaking, it's, you know, the pop rock, like indie rock sort of vein. Um, so I wonder at this point, you know, have they made it in the US or at the least, you know, um, are they successful in the U.S. or does that come later? So curious to hear what people have to say. Again, you know, going on these sonic journeys, it's part of it. But as I've come to learn, like the the other key to this process is hearing what people have to say. People who've been following these groups for a long time have a lot of insight and knowledge. And you know, it's even the case with groups that I knew pretty well, but not as well as I thought. Meaning, you know, I go through Depeche Mode and I've spent my whole life listening to them. And then you start doing reactions and there's people who have like crazy information about these groups. Um, so yeah, even in groups I've known better, um, I've still learned things. So uh, shout out to all the people contributing to these deep dives, including for you two specifically. Uh, and yeah, and you two specifically, I hate myself, I'll shut up now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, enjoying this journey. And uh, as I said at the very beginning of this, even before Bono came in, I've gotten to the point now where I feel like I could have heard the first 10 seconds of this and like, I think this is a U2 track. Um, so I suppose that's a good sign in terms of getting a sense for what they sound like now, knowing that people have said they will begin to shift notably after this. So looking forward to that too. I'm here for everything. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.